Henning Harald Larsen was a Danish civil engineer who went out in the world together with F.L. Schmidt. He went to the Baltic countries, he went to Persia, and then he ended up in India. And due to the Second World War, he stayed in India, and there he started the firm Larsen & Torbo together with his friend Torbo. And the firm today is one of the biggest and most reputed firms in India. That he was not coming as a very intelligent Danish engineer from a developed country and now going to teach the Indian about how they should behave and what they should do. No, that was an equal foot. I discussed it with one of his employees and then asked him, what was special about Hog Larsen's leadership? Then he gave me an example and he said, well, that this person had thought for a long time about a pretty book, big project. And then he was going to present it to Henning Hoglarsen. And after he had presented it, Henning Hoglarsen asked him, do you believe in it yourself? He said, yes, okay, then go ahead. Then I also believe in it. So that was a trust in this person. Instead of telling him, well, what about this? Now we have to control this. I'm sure that he also controlled it. And he was not just like this. He could, I'm sure he was also a tough businessman, although I never experienced it. But that was his attitude towards his employees. Show them trust. That's why they are regarded as the, the most respected company in India. I would say that he, first of all, he respected other people. And he was interested in other people. And he was interested in the Indian culture where he now lived. And uh, then he could use what he knew from the Danish culture, the welfare state. And that was that he then exported the Danish welfare state to his new company in India. They took care of the children, schools, nursery homes, and if for women who was going to give birth, they had special hospitals for them. And so he took care of all of them. And when he employed people, it was not due to their connections, it was due to their qualifications. And that was very different from the, other from the other countries, England, because it was still at that time an English colony. So they, their approach to India was very different from his approach. And still today, they maintain those values in his company. When you go to the factories, you would see posters with a picture of Henning Hag Larsen stating his five most important values. We can learn so much from India. I mean, India is a globalized country. We are not in Denmark a globalized country. Many people are afraid of the rest of the world. But India, through the history, has been invaded by so many people from the north, from the Muslims, from Iran, and from the west, from Britain, and they all ruled India for a very long period. But India absorbed all those new culture and transferred it into their own culture. And that's what they're doing today as well. And may I give an example with the Danish, great Danish ambassador in New Delhi now, Freddy Svein, and tells often is that the big German company, Bosch, had developed a new device. And then they found out that a company in India had used that device. So immediately they went out with lawyers and to stop it. And then the Indians invited them for their hospitality and showed them what they have done out of this. And showed, yes, we know this is your device, but we had developed it into something new and even better. And when Bus saw that, they were so impressed. So in instead of stopping it, they went into a joint venture with India. And that's what we can do. We can learn to cooperate with India and then we will prosper. Both, both economically, but also our culture will will uh, prosper and we will be able to survive the, all the challenges in the new globalized world. Make them feel that you feel they come from one of the greatest culture in the world and they are great persons and treat them like that. That's so important. If you don't do that, then you have problems.